Hallover is angry again today. Welcome back guys to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet in Miami, Florida. I'm your host Broncos Guru in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back down here at the inlet. And as we can see as this crew is starting to work their way out of Hallover, it's going to be a fun day as our captains try and do battle. So let's go ahead and get this competition started and head into our first round, where our first round contestant is just going to have a rough day. Do you ever have one of those days where life just seems to keep beating you down? Well, that's kind of like what this formula is about to feel like as it tries to make its way out of Hallover. Right now they don't look too bad, but just outside of the mouth of the jetties, it starts to get a little rough, and they're about to roll into those rollers, and this boat's going to take an absolute pounding as it tries coming through the inlet. Now this really is just unfortunately one of those days where there's not much this boat can do. It's going to start knocking them so hard, it's going to knock them back off a plane, but there's not a lot they can get out there and do. Some days Hallover is just rough, and it's going to give you a beating. Even though this crew doesn't really do anything crazy, they don't take any real waves over the bow or anything, they're going to remember this one, and for that reason, we're going to go ahead and give this round a haul over because they took a tail whipping trying to come through the inlet. Our next contestant in the second round is going to show you what it's like when you come rolling out a haul over and you ride it out. Here, this crew's got the vessel up on plane, and they're ready to do battle with haul over inlet. Our captain is making a wise decision early and hugging the north side of the inlet, which is definitely a recommended path on a rough day like today, and he's barely got the boat up on plane, and oh man, they get airborne, but you know what? He's keeping the throttle down, the boat jumps right back on the plane, and they're literally just going to ride it out. Typically, something like that would have definitely ended the day for most vessels, but these guys ride it out, keep it going, and they're going to take a win for the boats in this round. Our third round contestant is going to show you, though, that sometimes coming through Hallover is just not fun. Here, we're going to see this large scout come pounding its way through Hallover Inlet, and they just kind of start off on a bad foot. They never get the vessel on the plane, so the vessel never really gets a chance to get moving, and never really gets a chance to do the work it needs to do. Instead, they're just going to ride it out the rough way and take an absolute pounding as they come through the inlet. This is another one of those stories where Hallover doesn't really necessarily get that knockout punch in. In other words, it's just such a seaworthy vessel that it's going to go ahead and just take the pounding. But that doesn't make it any better as that's still not a fun ride for this crew. And we're going to go ahead and give this round a Hallover just because it just keeps knocking and knocking and knocking. And the reality is even though it didn't get a knockout punch, it definitely gave them more of a beating than they gave Hallover. But let's see if our fourth round contestant can have any better luck as we're going to see a nice large sea hunter come rolling through Hallover. Now this crew is going to come rolling in. They already got the boat barely up on plane, letting the vessel do the work, and they're kind of going to just push their way through Hallover. Now this is a big boat, so they do have a pretty good advantage over some of the other vessels we've seen, but you know what? Sometimes that's the advantage you need when you're doing battle with Hallover is something large enough that you can just kind of straight pound your way through Hallover Inlet like this crew is doing. And these guys right here will easily take a win in the fourth round for the boats, and that will leave us at a two two tie heading into the fifth and final round and who will take the win this week will it be the boats or Hallover inlet and here we're going to see a sea hunt game fish come in and try and finish it out it's definitely a rough day as we already know and this crew is going to take kind of the slow roll approach they're probably just barely on plane which is kind of where they want to be in a vessel this size and conditions this rough but once again sometimes when it's this rough you just wind up taking a pounding and here you can see the beatings got to them and they've come off plane and that was really close right there they almost stuffed the bow it looks like they barely pulled it out but they're definitely back off a plane which is going to make this a whole lot more difficult exit for them they really did look pretty good in the beginning for the size of vessel they had when they were coming out at about the right pace but once again Hallover's done the damage knocked them off a plane and this one's just going to wind up being a rough finish for this crew and Hallover's going to wind up taking the win in this round and that will give Hallover the win in this episode thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode of boats versus Hallover. if you did please be sure to check out our other channels we have wavy boats who gets us all these great images down at Hallover inlet my channel bronco Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.